<laughs> Hi guys, Josh from Stationway here with Tony Clark, the Director of Communications at Cedar Point. Hello. Nice to see you, Tony. Good I to see you as well. Since IAPA. I know. Speaking of IAPA, the chief car for the new Wild Mouse was debuted at IAPA. Um, I have not had a chance to ride it yet. It looks like it's had a couple of delays today, but it's not opening yet. That's fine. Good news. We're going to keep it open a little bit later so you can. Excellent. I yeah. was worried about that because we yep. came in from nope. Buffalo, New York. It was a four hour drive. We were calling to get here and we were a little late. So, there you go. So um, I have some questions for you. Yeah, obviously. go ahead. Um, so we're standing here in the boardwalk, the brand new edition for 2023, which is a family themed area. Yep. So um, how do you guys go about so you took out Wicked Twister um, to some enthusiasts' dismay, to others' delights, <laughs> um, which I know that it was about low ridership. Suck it. <laughs> I'm very active on Twitter. I, I, I'm sure you've I, seen I, people yes. on Twitter. Uh, so how do you guys go about saying, okay, Wicked Twister has a low ridership. We're going to build this Grand Pavilion and Wild Mouse. And how do you get Zamperla involved? All that kind of stuff. Well, this is, this is an area of the park that we knew we needed some refurbishment, some enhancement, some changes. We've wanted to do something on this midway for a very long time. That's kind of how we look at it. We don't just say we want to build this and if that's in the way, we're going to take it out. It's very calculated. We talk about what we want, what we need, um, and really changing this area into something more special was really what it was all about. So we needed more rides in the area. So we relocated two to come over here. We needed a new ride, which was Wild Mouse. And um, Zamperla happened to build a brand new version of the Wild Mouse style roller coaster. We had a Wild Mouse here at Cedar Point, so it was a great tie-in. And then the Grand Pavilion, which is a nod to our old Grand Pavilion, which is actually the building behind Wild Mouse. that has been here since 1888. That was the original Grand Pavilion. We also needed more dining venue, a bigger dining venue to serve our guests faster. So that's why that is here. But the bar upstairs is a great place to chill. The, the, the outdoor decks and spaces are really cool. So when you add all that together, it's about the experience. And then it's not just about one roller coaster. It's about all of this together and how it ties together and works together. I will say um, I came in kind of seeing this as a disjointed project, but walking through here, you have to come experience it. Words and pictures don't really do it justice. It is a whole experience. Um, which leads me into, so this area is the early entry area for the right. cars and um, Was that like a conscious decision to funnel people over here or to kind of show off this area? What was the thought process there? Well, we have early entry to give guests a head start on any of the number of rides that we want them to experience. And this is the new area for the year. So we wanted them to have their first shot at experiencing the boardwalk and its entire collection of rides. So you get a head start on Wild Mouse, you get a head start on the surrounding rides like Calypso and Matterhorn. So that's that's really what we do. We focus on whatever the new attraction is and we decide to do something a little bit different and let the whole family come in and you know find an attraction that they want to ride and so they can get, get their early their early start at Cedar Point. That's how I saw it as well. Um, it's obviously a very family themed area and families stay at the hotels. One of the big perks of staying at a hotel is early entry. Yep. So I appreciate Absolutely. that elaboration. I know a lot of people, I'm sure you saw, were kind of iffy, but yep. um, <laughs> is anything you guys do not iffy with someone? Not what? Not iffy with somebody? That we do. Well, the good thing about Cedar Point is that we can't build, I don't know if that's a good thing that you want to hear, but we can't build everything for everyone every year. Absolutely. So every year it's going to be something different. You might have a new roller coaster that breaks records one year. You might have a, a, a farmhouse kitchen and grill that you have the next year where everyone says, ah, it's another restaurant. And it's more than that. It's if you look at food stands during some busy days here, the lines get very long. It's because that's old, those are old um, service facilities. They don't handle guests as fast. So this is the way to change that. It's to build bigger facilities that serve great food, by the way, not just hot dogs and hamburgers, mm -hmm. um, but also uh, add a little family fun and family thrill with some, some rides too. Speaking of capacity, um, this does not have fast lane, which a lot of people were kind of confused about. What was the uh, decision? Well, it's exactly that. We want as many riders to ride Wild Mouse as possible. It already has a moving station, so the rides, not the, the station doesn't move, the trains, the, the cars do. They will move slowly. You'll exit while it's moving. You'll get on while it's moving. Um, and so because it's not a giant long train that just keeps going and going and going, um, we wanted to make sure that everybody had a chance to ride. So that's why fast lane's not included in it. Um, but the moving mouse cars constantly will still push guests through in a relatively quick manner. So you're still, you're still gonna still gonna get to ride. Excellent. Um, two more questions for you. Yep. Firstly, you were mentioning history um, at the park and um, or not. 
We were talking about family editions and record. You have to do things for everybody. Historically speaking, because I don't know if you've seen my content, I do history deep dives okay. and kind of look at modern stuff in comparison. I've noticed that since Millennium Force, every time you do a family edition, you have a big edition right after. If there's a top hat over there. Yep. Can we uh, perhaps look at a new, I mean, obviously you announced a new poster, but a new e-ticket attraction, as they would say in the industry? Um, what do you mean by e-ticket? Um, so e-ticket is, what's the proper term? Um, so back in, I believe it was 2018, you said that the next coaster you guys built was going to top steel engines in some way. Would you say that that would be the possible well, coaster in the world? I don't recall saying that. What I probably did say was that we will continue to build roller coasters because it's in our DNA as the roller coaster capital of the world. Um, if whatever we build in the future may be bigger to someone and maybe not to someone else, but we've already said we're building that. We're opening it in 24. You're going to like it. I, I if, sure you, if you so. don't if you don't like it, then I guess maybe you might not be a good coaster enthusiast. <laughs> T over here. That's just, that, it's just, it's just, you know, I mean, to be a, to be a true you know connoisseur of, of rides and roller coasters, I think you have to really look at it as as what they're built for. I mean, this is not 180 miles an hour. It's built for a purpose, and it's a great ride. Um, some of our other rides are built for a different purpose. Millennium Force, built for thrill. Not built, not built for a tame kind of experience. So, you know, you have to appreciate all of them and how they work together. So, it'll still be a great ride. I will still be a great ride. I'm very looking forward to that. Yeah. I'm sure a lot of my peers are as well. But yeah. my last question is, um, on the Cedar Fair Investor Call um, a couple months ago, they said that their top five parks are looking at big ROIs on major themed midways, um, which obviously this is a major themed midway. There's been rumors of when that opens in 2024, perhaps a new theme to that midway. Do you have anything to comment on that at all? Nope. Okay. <laughs> you heard it here first. <laughs> well, thank you for your time, Tony. You're welcome. Thanks for coming. Enjoy, enjoy the rest of your time here. And hopefully I'll see you on Saturday. All right. We'll be here. Thank you very much.